Miguel Ángel Lara de, de Marca. I would like to ask after 2-5, how are you thinking about the match? Is it going to be like a Swiss, you're going to go out like a suicide or are you going to have half cool headed? I think we need uh, to be cool headed. It's not an easy result in a stadium like Bernabeu. 0-3 below in the scoreboard, but I think it's important not to be desperate from the beginning of the match. Of course, we need to score, we need to score, but the most important thing is not to concede any more goals. So if we get nil nil by the end of the first half, that would be a good result, because after a goal, anything could happen. So we have to be cool-headed, and that's it. Hello, Fabinho from Cadena Cope. How is your mindset for this? Are you just here to uh, for the proceedings? Is the qualifying round lost? What can you do and what do you need to do in that film or that script so you can go beyond this qualifying round? It's really difficult for us, but it's not lost. We have to be motivated so we can play a match, a champions match, qualifying round of 16 on a stadium like Bernabeu. So these are things that a footballer needs to be motivated to do. And of course, because of the situation, the qualifying round is very difficult. But we need to try and have our best match to play smart and to try and win the match. I don't know. If just to win is not enough, we need at least three goals to go to the extension, but we need to do all that we can to enjoy the match and see if we can get to the extra time or even to a score more so we can uh, take out Real Madrid. That'd be good. Hello, Fabinho from Cadena Cope. You've been in Real Madrid before. How do you face this match in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, bearing in mind what happened before here and what happened to other English teams here? Regarding my background in Real Madrid, I played in Real Madrid Castilla for one year and it was my first year as a professional footballer. My debut was uh, in Castilla and the First with Real Madrid and Bernabeu, I was lucky enough to be able to have my debut in the first division in that stadium. But that's over 10 years ago, since I got out, since I got out, I wanted to come back and play against Real Madrid and tomorrow we will have that opportunity and it will be something beautiful. What was the rest of your question? What does it mean for you to come to Santiago Bernabeu after what happened with English teams, especially in the champions from the previous season? I think there are things we can see. We can try to learn from what happened before. But it's a bit difficult, because the way we play, no other team plays, risking as much as we do, pressing as much as we do, with intensity that we play. So we will try to play our game and it will be a mistake to change the way we play right now. This is the football that brought us here today. And of course, we have to try not to be as exposed sometimes as to keep on our line of uh, play with intensity, pressing, on taking advantage of our quality. From OK the area, I would like to ask about Vinicius. He's one of the most important players from Real Madrid. How do you assess his level and how can you stop Vinicius if you can? Because if you do, you will have a possibility of uh, getting the match. Vinny is on an amazing time on his career from the previous season. He's one of the main players from Real Madrid. I believe that on the first leg he proved why he is at that level because he is one of the 
most decisive players in the global football today, especially the first goal he scored, was something that came out from nowhere. And of course, it's going to be a great challenge to stop him. But if we want to have an opportunity to qualify or to win the match tomorrow, we'll have to leave a lot less space to Vinicius. We need to try and stop him. And it's not easy to stop that players. You can plan something, you can have one-on-one, -on -one, but those players always find the space. They're always going to do something important in the match. So the focus cannot be only in Vinicius, but we know that maybe he's the main player from Real Madrid and we need to try and stop him. Hello, Fabinho. Good afternoon from Cadena Ser. I would like to know if after analyzing the first leg, how do you remember it? Are you surprised that it's 2-5 the way you started? Do you think the distance between the teams is like that? A few days after that month, what, is, what are your memories? Your, what do you remember from the first leg? Matches against Real Madrid, not just the last one, but also the final from last year. Are the matches that you think, what did we do wrong? What happened? Was we, were we as bad and were they as good? And personally, I couldn't find an answer. It's in match that unfortunately you think about a lot. You brew on it and you don't sleep very well at night. Until you need to play another match and then you have to change your focus. But this match, until today, I don't know exactly what to say, because the memories I have is that it was a good match from our side, especially the way we started. It was quite good. But Real Madrid is a team that it doesn't matter if it, it's nil-nil, nil-two, they always play the same way. And I believe that's something that we can learn from. On the Real Madrid, how can I say? It smells the blood. They may be dead on a mass, but if they have an opportunity, they're going to hurt you. And if you give them another opportunity, they're going to go and score again. And that's what I can say from the last match. Of course, we learn many things and we try and be less exposed against a team that has such a big quality, especially up there. But there will be moments in the months where we will be a bit exposed, especially needing to score three or four goals. But these are things that you need to try and react on the spot. And we, I hope that we will all be there on a very good physical and focused level for this challenge. Champions League four years ago you had a group of players who thought anything was possible do you see the same character the same strength of mind in this group yes I think it's important to to have this mindset for a game like this because we have nothing to lose I think everyone expected uh, Real Madrid to, to, to win the game and to go to the quarterfinals and uh, this can be good for us because we go with uh, with the responsibility to, to wear the Liverpool t-shirt and to, to try to play our best football for, for us and for our fans. But in general, uh, everyone expects Real Madrid to, to win and, and go through to the next phase. So, uh, But this, this group, some of the players lived a really nice experience. Uh, of course, uh, I have to say the Barcelona game because it was a game that we, we were three nil down, and we we changed it in the so second second game. We will be a little bit different because we, we will not play at Anfield, but we we know that it's possible. So we have to be uh, motivate, really motivated to play this game, and to to believe to the end. Thank you. We'll have to make way because Jurgen Klopp is about to enter the room. <laughs> 